Right, folks, are we all? Now, it might be a bit windy, but I've come to the place called Pizanol. Uh, and in this place is uh, a deli called Emmets. Emmets. Um, they've been here since 1820. Mild, cured, gently smoked and sweet, pickled, great black Suffolk ham. Um, they're opening times. Uh, Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 5.30. Saturday to 8.30 till 5.00. They also do mail order. Right, I'm going to turn you around. It's a bit windy, so you probably can't hear me. Well, we came here the other day, and I bought some bacon, and a slab of honey, and some chutney, and I said I'd come back and buy some more and show you people the place. So this is it. This is the place, Emmett's store. Loads of stuff in here. Loads and loads. They've also got a tea room. Uh, not tried the tea room. Right. I'm going in, get some more bacon and stuff, and I'll see if I can take you in with me. Uh, yeah. And then the problem is Yeah. That's what you need. So folks, you've just seen me um, buying some bacon. 
And um, anyway, when we got this bacon home, uh, the wrapper had blew. Or what we thought had blown. Or what we thought had blown. So, so anyway, we come back to Suffolk, ain't we, sweetheart? Yeah. Uh, went back to Emmett's. <laughs> went back to Emmett's. And uh, she's, uh, as I was walking out of the shop last time, I says, oh, right. I says, keep an eye out because... I'm going to review this. She goes, all right, well, keep an eye out then. Thank you. Anyway, I went back and uh, she says, I'm still waiting for the video. I says, yeah, well, the thing is, we got back and the, the bacon had blew, the wrapper had blew up. And she goes, you thought that had gone off, hadn't you? And I went, oh, yeah, hadn't it? She goes, no, it's a chemical reaction of the yeast. Yeah, because it was the beer one. This isn't the yeah. beer bacon, is it? Yeah, it was a chemical reaction to the beer that was uh, it was marinated in. She says, you bet you threw it, didn't you? And I went, yeah. She goes, yeah, you should have thrown phone us up. So, I've gone back in. I've just bought some smoked this time. Um, we had some ham uh, that was really, really, really nice. It was a black smoked ham, black smoked ham that they're experimenting with. Um, so, and that was really, really nice. So, uh, as it is now, uh, we're going to cook some bacon. Uh, well, June is, because June's the cooker. Well, that's not fair. You cook quite a lot, don't you? Well, I do cook, yeah. Um, it's best to, what is it, dry? Dry fry it, yeah. Dry fry it. Uh, we're using a, a griddle pan kind of thing. And if it's anything like we had the other day... It was tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. I, it's one of the best bacon... Uh, well, what we found is that you don't get any water coming out of it, do you? Yeah. It's just bacon fat. And last time we had it, I said, shall we be really naughty and have a bit of fried bread in the bacon fat? Yeah. And it was so nice. So I'm hoping I can recreate it again. It was absolutely amazing. So uh, if you're actually near Pizanol uh, in Suffolk, go at... Emmett. Yeah, seek out Emmett's. It's, it, uh, well, well, you've seen, yeah. you can't miss you it. You can't miss it. You've seen the start of the video. Um, so anyway, June's going to cook this. We're going to have this, an egg. And we're going to have some fried bread. Um, I know people have cooked breakfasts before. They've done all the full English and all that. But we're just going to keep it basic and simple. Because as like we've said in life, um, or I've said... Oh, we're in a bloody caravan, we're not set up to them. Yeah. <laughs> we're in our caravan, aren't we? Yeah. Um, life's simple and it's made complicated by idiots. Um, so anyway, leave, we'll leave this cooking and then um, we'll come back to you in a second. Right then, folks, my lovely assistant over there, Junie Baby, has cooked uh, this bacon egg tomato and fried bread oh, i'm gonna have to hold it up or hold the camera down to you and there we have it folks uh emmett's bacon warburton's bread free range eggs free range tommies um the bread has been fried in the fat from the bacon hasn't it my juni baby And now, I will say, right, now, if you're going to shop in Emmett's... Don't get whinging about the price. Don't get whinging about the price, yeah. This is top quality bacon, food and ham and everything else that goes with it, yeah. It's premium stuff. Now, this place is that good. We are in... What are we in July? Yeah. Uh, we're in July and they are already taking orders for Christmas. Yeah? You don't get that happening anywhere else as such unless you've got good quality offerings of food. Isn't that right, Junie? Yeah, it's a bit early. Any, anywhere else, end of August, I'd say. I yeah. suppose if they've got to smoke the hams and the bacon and all that, it takes time, doesn't it? So maybe they have got now, to stop. What the owner has said, I went in and he said that he will take me round the back <laughs> and, <laughs> and 
show me the process of the smoking of the ham, the marinating of the ham, and all that. Right? So, anyway, let's let's tuck in to this bacon. Now, we, we don't trim any of the fat off, do we, Junie Baby? Oh, no. No. It's the sweetest bit. The fat is the best bit. Now, if I can pick it up. There we go. So, there we have the bacon. Is bacon processed lover or...? Yeah. Yeah? Well, this, I think this is the most There's natural. No nitrates in it, I think. Yeah. I, read, I read in the window, something like that. So, let's tuck in. Good. Oh, fucking hell, yeah. Ooh. I didn't mean to say that there, but. You just get the smokiness coming through and the flavour of the pork. It's just. No, it's good, isn't it? Even I eat the fat on this yeah. bacon, and I never eat fat. June never eats the fat, right? But on this, you, you've got to. It's the sweetest bit. Let's put it on a bit of the fried bread. Bit of dip of the egg on it. Cheers. Mmm. Now, basically folks, when you come to Suffolk, and you what, I'd say, if you're 30 miles away, it's worth the trip, from Pease and Hall, and Emmett's, do it, they have got loads and loads of now I've not been paid for this, right? So don't think I'm they've paid me for it. They haven't. All I'm doing is promoting a local business that does quality food that's not full of additives, not full of water. I mean, there were no water in that frying pan then, was there, no. you? No, it's, all that comes out is the fat, which is what I've fried the rest of it. Yeah, it's amazing. So, now, if this video goes right, I also got a big lump of gammon, oh. ham, which a lot of you people out there will be saying, oh, how appropriate, right? Well, when we get back home, we're going to have ham, egg and chips. Ham, egg and chips. Um, so this is so keep watching the video, and you'll see that. All right, I'm going to eat this, then show you the empty plate. And then we'll be back. I'm back. I was just thinking. This isn't like the packets of bacon you get in a shop. If you buy your bacon from Tesco's, Sainsbury's, <coughs> Audi and all them, where it's all packed in them little bloody... Yeah. Wafer thin. Yeah, it's nothing like that. This hasn't shrunk in size. And you buy bacon from shops, Tesco's and all that. In fact, I did a video a while back on bacon and how it shrinks. I compared it. And this is the same. But when June cooked this, you dried fried it, didn't you, lover? And I'll tell you what else I noticed. And it must be something to do with the water content in other bacon. It doesn't spit at you. You know normally when you're frying bacon, yeah. it spits, doesn't it? It does, yeah. That doesn't. No, and you've got it on a... Medium high uh, heat. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It sounds stupid, but it... It tastes the bacon. Mm, it tastes, it's lovely, isn't it? really is nice. So on a me what did you say, medium to high heat? Medium, no, just a medium heat. Get your pan red hot, turn it down, and just leave it. Let it cook in, keep an eye on it, turning it over. Yeah, 
just pay for a bit of quality. That was absolutely amazing. Um, you know how to cook, don't you, June? Well, good old fashioned cooking, yeah. Good old fashioned cooking. Amazing stuff. Um, yeah. Cup of tea, bacon, egg, tomato, a bit of fried bread. Fried bread out of the, uh, the bacon fat. Oh, got some more fried bread here. Oh, tread on the dog's toe. Tread on the dog's toe. Fried bread. Alright. Don't know yet. Mm. Yeah, probably bad for you. Mmm. Well done, Junior Baby. Round of applause. Well done to Emmett. Uh, right, see you in a bit with a bit more. Laters. So, folks, you have just seen me devouring some egg, bacon, and uh, fried bread and a tomato. You've got to have a tomato, ain't you, June? Keep it healthy. Oh, part, yes. Part of your five a day. Now, this is the next part of this video from Emmett's. Um, from where? Emmett's. What do you think, sir? Emmys. Emmys. That's an award. The Emmys. Um, so, this is what it is, folks. It is... Let me zoom in. Peppered, unsmoked, cooked ham off the bone. Um, a quality piece of meat. Look at that. Hey, Journey, baby. Absolutely. So, what I'm going to do... I'm going to cut this bad boy open, uh, carve a few slices off. Uh, I'm going to have some with chips. Egg and chips. Egg and chips. And I'm also going to have some with some of that chutney. Uh, so, right. Uh, I'll start doing this and I'll see you in a second. Say again. She's going to get the chutney. We bought this last time we went. Yeah. <laughs> Move that can of Jack Daniels out of the way, you'll think we're all fucking... Day date and lime. You'll think we're all alcoholics. Um, date and lime chutney. Uh, can you see that? There it is. Um... We asked for some savoury rinse, didn't we? Yeah, now this, now he did tell me the guy who owns it, um, he says you can put it in an omelette. There we go. So, I'll crack on carving some of this up, and then I'll see you in a second. So, June has cut it, because June's better at handling meat than me. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try that little bit there, yeah? I have no idea why it's on the scissors, but there you go. So, let's tuck into this. Ooh. Do you want to try it, June? I'm alright, thanks. I'm sweating cobs here. June's having a sweat on. This is so tender. Nice. Yeah. That is full of flavour. What does it say on the packet? What the salt is it? It's full of peppers, it's strong. Mm. Pepper, just pe peppered, peppered, <laughs> pepper, pepper, pepper. You've got to try it. Peppered, unsmoked ham. That's good. It is, isn't it? Mm. Well done, Emmett. Well done. Cut a little bit off, please. I think he'd want more. He always want more. Right, cut that bit in half. This June just... That's how you do it. <laughs> oh my God. That's 
a taste sensation, isn't it? It is, it is really nice. We'll be having that tomorrow as well. Mm. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. 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 It's really I'll tell you folks, right, if you're in the area, you've got to go and try some of this. Just get one for Christmas, it's worth it. Yeah, get one for Christmas. The do mail order. The do mail order. Oh, right, I'll get you a bit. Also folks, while I was in there, I actually bought some of this. Oh, can you see it? Uh, extra virgin organic olive oil, Frantio, Scotio, uh, Detorgas. So, what I've done, or what June has done, par boiled some potatoes, uh, and then I've sprinkled, or is it a sprinkle? You're not sprinkled, are you? Do you sprinkle olive oil? Drizzle. You drizzle. You drizzle some of this on over your chips, a bit of salt and pepper. Uh, bang them in the air fryer and we'll see how it goes. So yeah, loads in that shop, like a little, like a sweet shop for adults. So folks, there we have it. June's been slaving over a hot stove thing over there. Uh, the biscuit tins the camera stand. Uh, so this is it. Um, this is the meat, the chips that have been cooked in the uh, olive oil and um, the eggs lovely eggs oh steam myself up now oh god hold on let me just wipe my lens there you go uh right let's put you back on the on the biscuit barrel all right point you down at my dinner Is that it? oh god oh, it's that way, isn't it? oh well i'll move the dinner towards Let's put a bit of the old, uh, ooh. this chutney is good stuff in it, lover. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Uh, I don't know whether I said, but we had it in savoury mince the other day, and Jesus, it, it makes yeah, it so it, nice. it makes, it adds flavour to absolutely everything. Well, it will do, won't it? It's a chutney. Oh, sorry, Jim. So, so turn put the lid back on. Would you like to drink pink lemonade? Please. Ginger's gonna have some pink lemonade. So let's tuck into this. Bit of that. Oh no. Give your opinion on what do you think to the ham? Nice. Is it? No. That yeah. is praise indeed from That Ginger. is praise, yeah. And she won't even promote promote provoked. She doesn't even know where we've got it from. No, she's clueless. <coughs> I put too much chutney in my mouth. <coughs> yeah, the chutney is a little spicy. I'll try some. The chutney is like, you know when you go to an Indian restaurant and you have the lime pickle? It's like that. Only better. Only, only better. And it makes you sweat. This <laughs> is brilliant. This is silly on the chutney jeans, is it? The chutney is quite spicy. Oh, it's nice though. Let's try one of the chips cooked in the olive oil. In the air fryer, though. We didn't in the air fryer. We didn't deep fry it. Yeah, we ain't deep fried it. Mm. Really, really good. Tomatoes that have been done in the olive oil as well. Ah. 
It's nice dry ham as well, isn't it? Yeah, I can't be doing with slimy ham. I know it's not really slimy, but sometimes when you take it out the vacuum part, I have to mm. leave it open in the fridge. To dry out. On a, on a plate. Could just cover it with the bed kitchen yeah. roll and let it dry out for a couple of hours. So the, the situation of play is, folks, is that I need a shave. We've just come back from Suffolk, haven't we? Yeah, we've just come back from the caravan. Um, the state of play is that if you're looking for some stuff for Christmas, right, and I know we're only in July, but go onto the website, I'll put the link in below. And the supermarkets have got the tins of chocolates in. So yeah, the supermarkets have got the tins of chocolates. So, um, just have a look. Now, it won't be for everybody, but if you want quality for Christmas, yeah, give it a go. Oh. I think we're going to have some stuff from here, aren't we, June? Well, no doubt we'll be at the caravan, won't we? Mm. So, no doubt we'll be dropping in. And mm. for all you cooks out there, they who make Christmas cakes, they do do the crystallised fruits. Crystallised fruits. We've they had an orange. They're hard to get hold of, but they do the crystallised fruits. Yeah, we've had an orange, haven't we? And it's amazing. Yeah. <coughs> that chutney and I've got some kicks. <coughs> mm. Right, folks. Comments down below. Let me know if you've used them, if you're going to use them, if you're going to have a look at the website, all that. Um, but I'm going to carry on eating my dinner. Laters.